Welcome back. You're watching the New Jersey Morning Show. I'm meteorologist Mike Favetta here with Cara DeFalco. Cara, we're all about the local movement here on New Jersey. And joining us now to talk about exciting developments with our own channel is our very own Lisa Marie Falbo. Lisa, welcome. Ah, oh, this feels like old times. I love it. I know, right? Hey, so Lisa, give us an overview of what viewers can expect when they turn on on New Jersey and, and how it differs from other local news stations. Well, I have to start by saying one of the differentiating factors is Mike Favetta, and here's why. And I don't mean to slay anybody else because everyone else is so fantastic, but here's what sets Mike apart from the pact. The other day, New Jersey got rocked with an earthquake. Uh, myself and the team, we were on our daily touch base call when it happened. Within 15 minutes, we made the decision, okay, we got to go live. Myself, Gerald Ambra, Laura Jones, you know, we're on, we're all different parts of the state with Mike to give live play by play as to what was going on. Our meteorologist friend here had an encyclopedia of New Jersey earthquake statistics. And mind you, an earthquake hasn't originated from New Jersey in hundreds of years. But Mike was ready to go with information that you literally would not find anywhere else. And that's what sets us apart because we're all New Jersey. It's not a New York meteorologist spewing out facts. It's a Jersey guy who has studied this, who knows this, who is passionate about this, giving you exactly what you need. And it's something you will not find anywhere else. It is why we call him no, Professor I'm, Mike. Here on the channel. <laughs> I'm, I'm humbled by that, Lisa. I, I truly am. But it really is a collaborative effort of how yes. everyone that works with the channel is so compassionate and so you know able to, at a moment's notice, produce this live broadcast in, in terms of breaking news and and to make it like you said we're all from different parts of new jersey we all have our knowledge of local specialties of new jersey i'm more of the north central as are you cara is more north and northeastern you know having lived in essex county and then we have our other co-founder gerald who kind of takes all things south and then of course laura jones our political reporter a, a stone's throw from trenton i feel like she knows everybody from top to bottom a to z you know in the state house but how does on new jersey prioritize that local talent and community engagement. This is the question, Lisa Marie, you know, in content creation process and, and making this channel work. Well, I think you hit on it that all of us are tried and true New Jerseyans and each of us have such a passion for the state and what makes it tick. And Laura with the politics, Kara with the lifestyle and especially the food, Mike, you with all the meteorologist data and me maybe with sports and just the overall community initiatives that that really make us tick here in the Garden State. And I think, again, that is the difference factor. We're all homegrown talent. We're all passionate, not only about the state, but about media and production. And we're all game to, oh my God, we have to seize the moment. Let's go live and let's do something really special and cool and out of the box. And, you know, everyone is constantly pitching us ideas. And I think the beauty of having a streaming platform with really no rules, we can go out there and we can do it. And I think that's so special. And on New Jersey is really filling a gap because more and more coverage in New Jersey is shrinking. And it's already terrible, right? Being sandwiched between the two big cities, Philadelphia and New York, we are already so overlooked. But the, the people that already are just covering the state, they're either consolidating or just closing or just switching initiatives and going more regional. We are not. We are all about the 21 counties here in New Jersey. I, Lisa, I, you know, and obviously that what you just said is part of the reason why we all all enjoy doing this, because it is our home state and it, we we think it does deserve its own channel. Um, what are some of the popular shows and programming that are going to be featured on, on New Jersey, like New Jersey Morning Show? Exactly. And we're back to doing this live, which I love. And, uh, you know, and just getting a flavor of all the different aspects that are hot right now. We, you know, politics, weather, lifestyle, sports, headlines. Uh, you know, I just love that we're back live in that aspect and you two capture that so well. Uh, we obviously have New Jersey politics with Laura Jones and it's a true down the middle look at what's happening in Trenton and the local municipalities. With that, we started actually covering live 
debates, which is new, and that's happened over the last couple months or so, and that's been so exciting. We had the Andy Kim, Tammy Murphy U.S. Senate debate for uh, the Democratic nomination, and I mean, 25,000 people tuned into that. Uh, that's an amazing number uh, to have that many people tapped in on a Sunday night. And again, it's because nobody else was talking about it, covering it, and people want to know what is going on in Trenton. We don't want to hear about New York anymore. We want to know what's happening in our backyard. So uh, the debates, and we're going to have more of them as the season unfolds, because uh, this is a big election year in New Jersey. That's very exciting. Uh, I host your New Jersey again. That really captures the good news of the state, the nonprofits, the local leaders making big impact and positive changes. And I love doing that. It's like my own virtual town hall and really getting to know every corner. That's been three years now of just so much fun. Uh, we have On Sports with Mike Black. And I love that because again, New Jersey sports isn't getting the coverage. You know, we're in the biggest market and we're in the shadow of the biggest market with New York. So obviously the major league teams get coverage, but what about Rutgers? What about Fairleigh Dickinson, St. Peter's? There's collegiate teams doing big things. Football teams on the high school level are the best in the country. Nobody's talking about them, but we are with On Sports with Mike Black. We're going to be launching a show called South Jersey Focus with Veronica Dudo. You catch her doing our news updates, which is another aspect of the channel as well. And that's going to be covering that southwest portion really of New Jersey that gets overlooked, not the Jersey Shore, but that whole other region. There's so much agriculture and things happening down there that deserve a spotlight. So it's it's programming like that more and more as this thing chugs along will be popping up, but we're just really excited about the direction, the team on camera and off camera. We can't forget the people that make this whole thing hum and tick. Pam, Izzy, Caitlin, Lexi, you are, are all rock stars. And it's really because of you guys that we can get this thing off the ground. That's right. It's all there. A lot of the behind the scenes work as well. And it's not just the stream of the 24 seven news channel that you can log in at any time. What sets on New Jersey apart, and this is something you preach all the time, Lisa Marie, is how you can access it from social. You see the clips that are posted on social media, whether it be Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, or uh, any of the other platforms online. And that's a way to kind of share the content because people are not tuning in traditionally via a cable box or their, you know, home uh, TV set. They're on the go and they want to get their news and information on their mobile device. And that's, it seems like what well, we're pioneering here at On New Jersey, yeah. Lisa Marie. Yeah, and for free. We are not hidden behind a paywall here. And more and more people are cutting the cord with cable. We just filmed at Prudential Center a couple days ago with the head of marketing for the New Jersey Devils and Prudential Center, Jillian Frechette. And we were just talking about TV and she said, you know, I'm a recent cord cutter. And I'm like, well, you got to check out On New Jersey because we are for you. I have conversations with cord cutters every single day. And once they tune in to our station, to our channel, they're in, they're locked in. They love it. They love how local we are. They love the information that they're getting. It's information and stories you will not find anywhere else. I, absolutely, Lisa. And and I, I love that you touched on, you know, touch. I mean, the streaming aspect is literally what we do, that, it, that it's free. It's across all devices. Help folks, um, you know, because I'm sure we'll probably take this and put it out on social media. How do we, how do people watching find us? Where do they go? What do they do? Very simple. Go to onnj.com. That's our website. Everything you need is there. When you log on, you will be greeted by the live stream of our channel. You could access everything, all of our programming on demand, very easy to find. We have very clearly labeled tabs up top. We also have a drop down of the different apps where you can access us. So if you are on a Roku device, click on the Roku icon and you could load our app there and, and or watch live there. And you could read about our story, you can meet our team and uh, join the local movement. That's what it's all about. 
Lisa Marie Falbo, co-founder of On New Jersey. Thanks so much for joining us today. Obviously, we appreciate all you do for us. Thank you very much. I appreciate everything you <laughs> all do for us. I mean, again, it would not be happening if it wasn't for the dynamic, amazing, passionate team that all get along <laughs> behind the scenes as well as you do on camera. Um, you guys make it tick, and I thank you so much, and I know Gerald does too. Thanks so much, Lisa Marie. Yeah, Mike, I, you know, I, I think a part of it is we, uh, we, we've all grown up together in this business, if you will. Sure. And I think understanding what the limits of the technology are and how we can kind of exploit them, you know, for the gain of everyone across the state uh, really works in our favor because typically, and in the past, and this might still be true with some of the traditional TV networks, uh, media is a reactive environment whereas if something happens a new technology comes along oh it takes a while you know we'll see if it catches on and then okay we'll get in three years too late right. but i think what's important about what on new jersey is doing and what lisa marie is pioneering here is being proactive to the technology and going right after it and i think it's working out for the benefit of our viewers yeah yeah and on top of that i think it's the, it's again you know i like where she touched on you know new jersey is, I, I mean, population-wise, it really could be its own media market. And people who don't work in the industry might not realize this, but, you know, North Jersey is traditionally covered by New York markets, South Jersey traditionally covered by Philadelphia, and they're an afterthought in both cases. So this is really becoming the only place where you will find true New Jersey mm -hmm. local news, the stuff that impacts New Jerseyans all day, every day. Um, and, uh, and it's going to be a really good thing, and it's very much needed. I think it's pretty evident when the governor of a neighboring state during the earthquake said, an earthquake happened west of Manhattan. West like, of Excuse Manhattan. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Who's here? So it was nice to see a little bit of a effect uh, from that, that the New Jersey viewers really caught on. And that earthquake coverage had tens of thousands of replays on social. So just goes to show that people were interested and they wanted to know what was happening in the Garden State. Here. Absolutely. Yep. All right, guys, you are watching the New Jersey Morning Show, and we are only on New Jersey. You can follow us live, onnj.com.